Tony from Arlington, Virginia writes to me. He says, hey, Paul, every time I see you do one of your videos in front of the museum, here's the museum, I have noticed a rather large and long piece of equipment down on the bottom shelf. Can you tell us more about that? Well, okay. I think what you're talking about is this beast. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, as you get older, it gets harder to creak down like that. And I've got this, I've got scoliosis. If you know what that is, it's a curvature of the spine. And as I get older, it's starting to squeeze some nerves in there. It's like, oh God, do me a favor. Don't get old. So this beast, let's see if I can even move this thing. Oh God, no, I can't even move it. <laughs> this is the P-1200 and it is a power plant. And you can see this is probably, well, first off, it is the single largest piece of equipment PS Audio has ever, ever made. It was a beast. I think we only made maybe a couple hundred of these things. I don't remember what it weighs, but it's upwards of 200 pounds. It's all metal. These are these nice wavy heat sinks that our friend Alex Rasmussen, who designed all kinds of stuff. He did all the DCS stuff, the cool shapes in DCS. He did the Constellation Audio. He designed many of the products here, the industrial design. Alex's heat, well, here, here, look at this one. This was the original power plant and the, the P300, and Alex designed that with his nice shapes on it. He was very, you know, artistic kind of guy. But this beast, the P1200 power plant, back, I think, from the year 2000, um, was just, I mean, it was a 1200-watt power plant, and, and right now we make a, a power plant that's, you know, the P20, that'll do even more power, and it's smaller, and that's because we changed technologies to where our, our chief engineer, Bob Stanther, figured out a way to raise the efficiency from 48, 47% up to about 80%. And that allowed us to make more wattage in a smaller box. But this is before that technology, and this is about 47% efficient. So you can imagine if you're actually outputting 1200 watts, you're chewing up, you know, 600 watts in heat. It's, it is a beast and it had to be this big. And I don't think we'll ever make anything that big again. I mean, good Lord, just packaging it was a real challenge. Couldn't use a cardboard box. This came in a crate. So yeah, that's what you're seeing, my friend. The P1200 power plant. Okay. Thanks for asking. Take it easy. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.